All right. So it's been a couple of years since I've done a video, but um, the last time I did was some um, kale and spinach. Now these are I'm having a crack at some chilies, some habaneros. These are some just some really badly made uh, tubs that I've made and sprayed. You can see the bad spray job. Uh, put some some taps here and had to put some blue tack there just to stop that one from leaking um, dramas as far as pH I didn't have any pH down which um, the pH was too high so I googled it and people were using lemon juice and vinegar so I tried my luck at lemon juice it was just absolute crap so for anyone who's looking at doing it don't use lemon juice for pH down it doesn't work um, it will bring the pH down for about two hours but then it will It'll bounce right back up if not even higher so finally went out and got some uh, a $20 bottle of pH down and um, yeah the pH is now at 6 which is perfect for these chilies are sort of around the 6 6.5 mark anywhere I sort of when I go hydro I sort of um, anywhere from 5.5 to 6.5 is, is good um, but I'll give you a look at these these habaneros so I brought these down at the at the nursery or Ed Bunnings nursery they were sort of probably um, maybe sort of half the size they were in dirt soaked them cleaned it off all the roots and um, and um, yeah just put them in some clay balls and hydroton um, so yeah so this is just basically the same as usual most people do they just drill the holes um, these were a little, they're not actually sitting flush, you can see. Usually the, this is, um, the drill I did was just a little bit too small, but that's all right. Usually I use the jigsaw, but that's okay. They're still in there. The main thing is the roots. I'll give you a quick look. Um, had issues with putting water as well, because I had the water level too low. So it was probably about an inch or two below the net cup and the bubbles just weren't really splashing enough of the bottom of the net cup so in, in net, we've had some 30 to 40 degree days here in melbourne and it's middle of it's summer now and um, the plants were drooping really badly so once i put the water level up um, that's when they started to take off so finally after about two weeks you can see we've got some some roots let's try and put it over here uh, yeah, you can see a couple of roots coming out of this one. Um, so, yeah, so there, a couple of little roots out of that one. This one here, and this one's just going crazy. Um, yeah, so there's the uh, the tub. So nothing fancy on this tub, that's for sure. Probably one of the worst ones I've ever made. But usually I have um, have it all pretty good, but. Seems to be working. Um, had it in a, uh, also I had it in a bloom nutrient starting off, but I've switched that to a um, grow nutrient. Um, heard that they, they don't like too much nitrogen, but these guys don't seem to mind. Um, once I've switched back to grow, they seem all right. So yeah, I just wanted to do a quick, these, these ones here were just a, a small, um, really small sort of ceiling when I put them in. I've got a couple over there in some pots which I'll show you in a second. Um, but yeah, so these are these ones are doing a bit better as well. Let's see if we can see if we can get there. It's a little bit of roots. See you can see the brown roots there, they're the ones from the original um, soil. And then nice white roots are coming. You can see down there. That's why roots. So, just an air stone in there. Had it on for 12 hours, 12 hours off, but now I've just switched it full, full 12, like just non stop. Um, just been experimenting. Uh, but now they seem like they're dialed in. They seem like they're loving, loving life now. Um, just got them outdoors. You can see here. I mean, there's the, there's the pool, but they're just out here on the, on the patio. Um, so you just got them out there so they get the sun now it's the afternoon now um, but uh, 
Yeah, so it's about six in the evening. So now they've got a bit of nice afternoon shade, which chilies generally like anyway. They do, they do like the sun, but having a bit of shade is always good too. Um, I'll just show you, like, if you have a look at these, um, these ones here. These are the smallest ones I've got because they were a different, a different. Um, uh, these ones were a bit bigger when I, when I put them in. They were like nursery grown. These ones were just really tiny seedlings. I'll show you the other ones that I've got in pots, which aren't doing that great on the outdoor grow. All I'm guessing is too much nitrogen, and the pots are too big. They're, all, you know, what I've been reading is over potted. So they're not getting really the the roots aren't really getting what they want. See, they, these are the other ones. So these are the same same size as the uh, the ones I've just shown you in the hydro, but they just haven't really kicked off. I mean, they, these are a bit. They've got some green on them, which is good. This is a little Thai bird's eye one, which I've topped now, and it's starting to get a bit bushier. And this is just a like a a one-off. I bought a habanero. Um, it's looking better now. It was I topped it the other the other week, which you might be able to see. Yeah, there it is. I cut it there, and now it's getting nice and bushy. The reason I cut that is also because it was starting to flower, which I don't want. I want to get it in vegetative state longer. This one's starting to do all right, but that's a bit more established than the other ones. Uh, down here is a jalapeno which is the biggest out of all of them, but that's how I bought him. And now it's starting to get some, some flowers on it, which I'm not too happy about, but, uh, so I cut that pretty badly. And, um, yeah, it seems to be doing all right. This is starting to flower now, so this pot's all right. But yeah, just a bit, bit of a tip for anyone who's just starting to grow. Don't put them in big pots right away. These aren't even that big. If you look at my hand, um, that's the size of them still too big you still should have them in smaller and then as they grow and the roots start to come out then you bring them bring them into another bigger pot slowly slowly bring them up to bigger pots um, but yeah outdoor deep water culture or DWC um, definitely my favorite way of, of growing I'm looking forward to seeing what how these go I'll give you a updates as we go so for anyone else who's looking to um, to do this as well hasn't done this um, yeah really super easy once you dial in your nutrients this is at half strength by the way that's that that will be it uh, for nutrients they'll be at half strength I haven't got a ppm meter but I have got a pH meter and I've got the pH drops as well which are just as good in my opinion um, but yeah the ppm meter um, haven't got so I don't know what the PPM sitting at, but I'm always just one of those people who just goes on half strength, quarter strength type of thing. So at the moment, these are on half strength and they look, um, yeah, they're looking nice. And I mean, you haven't got that nice greenage there. Yeah, it's beautiful, nice and green. Uh, don't know what's going on with this one. It's a little bit of, uh, yeah, I don't know whether that's from the nutrients or pH up and down problems, because there was a bit of stress getting these things kicked off. But now they're looking um, nice and healthy now. So once, um, yeah, I'll give you another update in another week or so as we go, and hopefully we get some nice bushy plants with lots of fruit. Um, but yeah, they're all, all of these are all different habanero, basically different types of habanero, uh, red, orange, and all different. So it's interesting to see what, we, what we're going to have at the end. But yeah, once they start flowering, um, yeah, I topped this yesterday, by the way. This one I cut right here and hasn't this is probably the worst one out of all of them and I topped it because it just started it must have been stressed too much and started to produce some some flowers which I didn't want so I topped it and I topped this one over here too and they look like they're from the same family because they've got a very similar looking type of plant um, this one's a little bit better better looking but um, yeah I've topped him as well but the thing about hydro is they just bounce back straight away. They just, um, they just, you know, you can see here it's starting to get some growth down here. That's what, that's the reason why you top them. So all these bottom shoots, all the side shoots here, they'll start shooting out now. The pl the stockiness of this stem will really thicken up and really, really be strong. 
these are really quite strong anyway because they get a lot of wind here. Um, yeah, that one's the best one out of all of them. But um, yeah, they're all looking really healthy now anyway. These are probably a little bit, the nutrients probably a little bit too strong because you're getting a little bit of tip, the tips here, getting a little bit burnt. Um, but they're okay, this one's bouncing back, like the new, new leaves here are fine. Um, so you wouldn't want to go any stronger because yeah, once you get this yellowing on the end of your leaves, that's generally from nutrients from what I've understood and what I've read. Um, these were in Rockwell cubes too, these two. Um, these were all just planted straight in, straight into the hydrophone once the, um, the uh, roots were rinsed off. And they've, um, yeah, they've well and truly kicked off. Once the roots come out of the bottom of the net pots and start growing into the water, that's it. It's um, show time. Anyway, I'll keep you updated in the um, in the next video for this uh, out, outdoor deep water culture habanero grow hot chilies.